In order to save the world and fulfill his destiny, a young man embarks on a quest to find the fabled Golden Fleece in Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters. I heard there was a prophecy about me. It would seem that the prophecy was referring to our annihilation. It's been three years since the first film, so not too long, but I imagine that for an actor, it's always really exciting to be able to return to a character, especially one like Percy Jackson. These movies are fun, a lot of fun to make. Fun to watch, but fun to make, too. They're a little adventure in themselves, you know, and, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was definitely a good day when I got the phone call that we were gonna make it. I mean, it took a, I mean, it took a few years for us to get, you know, back into this, this and, uh, there were times where I thought it wasn't gonna happen, so it was, it was a surprise. Why did it take so long? I don't know, you, you know what I think it is, is that, um, I mean, well, 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 the first one was successful, but, you know, I feel like the book series and the fan base really took off after the first one. Um, and then in that period of time, in that two years, in that year and a half, especially towards the end of Harry Potter, I feel like a lot of kids really uh, tried to find their other, you know. The next thing. Not necessarily the next thing, you know, I don't want to say that, not, but it's like. But, but something they did, that they can, another world that they yeah, can but, go into. Yeah, it's pretty similar to that one. Right. So I, I think that, you know, this was like, uh, I think the movie uh, definitely opened it up and the fan base grew and the studio saw that and said, let's make another one. We're here. Who would do this? Luke. Turns out you're not the only half-blood who's hard to kill. I have seen the first 35 minutes. I got to see it earlier. Did you, have you seen it yet? I've seen a lot of the movie, but okay. not like the final mm -hmm. cut version of it, which I'm excited to see. So for our audience who hasn't seen it, can yeah. you tell them where Percy Jackson is at now? What's going on with him? You know, at the end of the first movie, Percy was the hero. He saved the day. And now at the beginning of this film, he's not the hero anymore. Uh, Clarice, this other camper, uh, this other half-blood. Provides the competition. Yeah, she's she's <laughs> way better at everything <laughs> than, than Percy, and uh, he's kind of accepting his uh, his his what he thinks is is his fate, which is uh, just he's an average demigod, and he's a one-hit wonder, and he's just you know he'll lay low now, and we start there. The only thing that has the power to save our home is the Golden Fleece. It's in the Sea of Monsters, what the humans called the Bermuda Triangle. Then him and the gang, they're thrust, you know, into this crazy journey to uh, find the fleece, the Golden Fleece, and save their camp. And a lot of it's about Percy, you know, battling his, uh, his insecurities and stepping up to the plate, you know, being a hero. If there's one thing I've learned, you can't give up on family. Director Tor Frudenthal has said that the books that the movies are based on are so relatable with their themes that they're very light and humorous, but there are so many relatable themes. So which were the themes that you related to? I'd say that the main theme, you know, of this film, I think I mean, if there was like a main message, I, th I think it would be the importance of, of family. And I mean, I think that definition of family is kind of, you know, uh, I, I guess the, the the people you're closest to and trust the most, so friends can be considered family too. Of course. You know, and your your family, and uh, I guess the loyalty and the strength one can receive from those uh, relationships, and uh, I think that's what this movie is, you know, mainly about. Hollywood